We are on our way to our 24 week doctor appointment where I might have to get the group B strep test done today. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get it done today. They say 35 weeks and I don't know if I'm supposed to come back next week to get that done or if I get that done this week. I'm also going to be asking a lot of questions about being induced because I don't want to be induced and I want to know what all is going to be happening when we do that. And I don't know, do you have questions about anything? No? So, I don't know if you can tell, it is disgusting outside. Can you see the trees blowing in the wind? I don't know if you can. It's raining, super gross. It looks like we're going to be smacked by a tornado. I feel bad leaving the dogs at home, but I have to go to my doctor's appointment, so. Hopefully we get there safely and I don't know, maybe it's not even raining over there. Who knows? It's a long drive though. So. All right, I'll see you when we get there. I just got home from the doctor's appointment and I need to eat before I head out to my color guard practice, but I wanted to talk about the appointment a little bit and it looks like maybe the dogs would like to go outside. Do you guys wanna go outside? It's very wet outside. We had to drive through a freaking monsoon to get to the doctor's appointment. It was awful, there was so much rain. So about the doctor's appointment, my biggest concerns were the size of the baby and being induced. Now the size of the baby is still measuring about three weeks ahead, however my uterus is measuring three weeks behind. So there's like this six week gap between the size of the baby and the size of me. The baby is very very cramped so I'm really not sure what that's going to do or if that's going to affect anything but I am still scheduled to be induced on September 21st. Now the things I wanted to ask them was, how am I going to be induced? Like what are my options and when? Like am I just gonna go in and they're just gonna Pitocin me up and that's gonna be it or what's going to happen? So they said they could possibly do a membrane sweep but they probably won't. Um, then they also said that they will try a couple different things to ripen my cervix like put in some type of suppository or something like that, and then they wouldn't do Pitocin until they've exhausted those options. So that's good at least that I won't just go straight to Pitocin, but I still don't wanna be induced. So anyway, I am scheduled to go back in two weeks. It'll be August 30th at my next appointment. I have to get the um, Group B strep test done then and that's probably about it. They didn't really say anything else, just to keep reminding them that the baby's big and I'm small and yada, yada, yada. Um, other than that, I don't really have any other information. Everything else is okay. My blood pressure was a little high, so hopefully it stays down so I don't have to be induced even earlier. But I guess we'll see at this point, we're just playing the waiting game. Okay, so we got some stuff in the mail. We got a base for our car seat and we just wanted an extra base that we could each have one in our car so we don't have to move it back and forth and we got in the bathroom it's here in the bathroom this it's like a baby bathtub so we have that it fits oh, if i put it in the right way i can get it to fit in here <laughs> obviously it just came out of there And you haven't seen yet, in here, we got a changing pad. So there's the changing pad. That's pretty cool as well. Got lots of cool stuff going on. I am now driving over to a, what is like a makeshift field for the team. We go out with the band. Let me turn some lights on. There we go. So it's like a makeshift field that the band performs on. So I am going across the street and I am driving. The girls and Skylar and Ethan are walking, but I'm driving because I'm too much of a fat lard to walk over there and waddle my way over. But Kirstie and Skylar got me a cute little balloon and a basket with some lollipops. And they have their own channel, so 
you need to go check them out. I will definitely put it in the description. They do some DIY stuff and some other fun things. So definitely go check out Kirstie and Skylar because they're awesome, okay? Just do it because I said so. Chloe, oh my goodness, are you gonna cuddle on daddy's pants? Are you scared? Are you scared? You're such a scared little girl. You wanna come up here and crawl under the covers? Come on. Only know one dog who was scared of this and that's Chewy. You wanna come up here and, and crawl under the covers? Come on. Come on. There Everyone you go. Hit, heavy oh, you scared. Alive. Poor baby. So we are having a really, really wicked thunderstorm. We actually lost power for a little bit. And Chloe is just so scared. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. That is so sad. Rocky's like, whatever. Rocky doesn't care. Here, Chloe, you wanna come over here? Huh? Where do you wanna go? I'll cuddle with you. So. I don't know. It's a loud one. And I don't know, Rocky doesn't seem to care a whole lot, but Chloe definitely not having it. Are you scared, sweetie? Chloe, do you need a hug? Look at you, you're like completely petrified right now. Do we have no TV? Looks like Comcast is down. So that's good. Oh, Rocky, you're standing on the baby right now. Oh my gosh. Chloe, is this better? Is this better? Oh, I never even covered. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, it's so loud, isn't it? All right, well, I guess we can go to bed. And go to bed and see what happens in this thunderstorm, huh? You ready for bed? I'll cuddle with you all night long if that helps you. Okay? I know, it's so scary. This is the second really bad storm we've had today. Look out rock. the window. Rocky, I feel like you want to start looking. Rocky, you want to look at the window? You're not tall enough. <laughs> He's trying. Sorry, bud. He's trying. Sorry. Oh, and my computer turned off. Ooh, I'm sleepy. My computer turned off, so now I'm going to have to yeah, completely it off in reboot. No, it turned off at the last time we had a bad storm. We had a power outage not too long ago. So. I turned it off and went to the lake house. Yeah, I don't like having to turn my computer off. I mean, it's stupid. Huh? I work for the tech department at a school district, and I don't like to restart my own computer. You know, it's bad, so. It just got really quiet outside all of a sudden. Yep. Maybe we're going to have a tornado. Or we're going to die of a hurricane. Die from a hurricane, maybe. Mm. Alright, Chloe. You want to say goodnight to everybody? <laughs> Can you say goodnight? Can you uh -oh. say goodnight? Goodnight.